Hey guys, it's Anna from Yellow Motor and I am so excited about today's review because I personally love American trucks. Today we have with us the 2018 Ram Rebel. It's competition being the GMC Sierra, the Ford F-150 and the Chevy Silverado. I must say that Ram has really stepped up its game to meet the benchmark set by the others. And hey, before we go ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you turn on those notifications. So, let's show you what this beast is all about, shall we? Coming over to the front, I really like the look they've gone with, although I personally would prefer a little chrome on it like the other Ram models. Here we have black detailing, black grills, and a huge Ram right in the center. Above that, we have two non-functional hood vents. They add up to the design, making it more aggressive and mean. At the bottom, we have a bumper guard or a bash plate that gives you better approach angle while off-roading and also protects the bottom of the car. What I do love about the Ram is the hood that dips forward, unlike its competition, which has very symmetrical hoods. So this little dip makes it look super badass. Moving over to the side, we have 17 inch rims, the engine batch, which is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8, the batch of the model itself, which is the Ram 1500, a side stepper for short people like me to get into the car, and the two-tone paint job, which here is black and white. And a really cool feature is the Ram box, which gives you ample amount of storage space. And the cool thing is that it has a little drain on this side of it. So you can even store liquids in it and naturally drain them out, which is pretty cool. Let's talk interiors. I love the red and black theme going on on the inside. Let's start with the basics. We have electronically controlled seats. Moving over to the steering, you have your cruise control options as well as voice commands, um, hover buttons. On the left of the steering, you have your light controls. So you can have your daytime running lights and uh, you also control the interior lighting via this system here. Moving over to the center console, what I hate number one would be the gear shift knob wheel. It's very upsetting. I wish they had something else that was that would replace this, but oh well, can't really complain. Moving over to the infotainment system, there is an 8-inch Uconnect touchscreen. Has a lot of options on it. We have controls like heated seats, heated wheels. Moving over to the climate control aircon system, you have the suspension controls, traction control and what is the best about this is that there is so much storage space. You have a separate compartment right for your phone to go up here, you have cup holders which are huge, below that again huge storage and a massive storage compartment glove box where you have your disc CD options as well and you can store coins and papers like that over here and of course the embossed ram right in the middle what's also cool are the seats you have the thread tire seats which is a pattern you can't really tell by it it really looks camo to me but i think it's pretty cool pretty different you have the rebel stitch right there and the rebel is also right in the middle here and on the dashboard what's also cool is the alpine nine speakers uh, music system that's pretty cool as well because it's really really loud good bass Moving over to the back, it's really spacious, comfortably seats five. So another cool feature about how spacious this car is, is that these seats can be folded manually and you can pull out the floor and get it completely flat. You also have cup holders right in the center, so this gives you ample amount of space, you can lay food down, we'll have a nice little picnic right in the car. So the gear is a wheel knob, it's an automatic 8-speed transmission. So let's show you what this baby can do. 
It is a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine with 395 horses under the hoods, 556 newton meters of torque. So it has a lot of power with its initial acceleration. You feel like you're gonna eat up the car right in front of you because of its really mean look. And people are definitely moving out of the way when you're behind them in this. So it gives you that really good feeling of respect on the roads as well. What I love about this is that it has insane amount of stability. Beautifully designed, perfect for the roads. So in terms of the power of the car off-road, it could have been better even though it has a 5.7 liter Hemi. It doesn't perform as well as its competition. The comp it, like an F-150 for instance would do much better off-road in comparison to the Ram Rebel. But what is good about it is it has four levels of suspension. You can raise the car four levels up and it also automatically adjusts itself when you're back on tarmac. So you don't need to lower the car once again. It will do that automatically for you, which is pretty cool while you're on the drive. Concluding our review on the Ram Rebel, I'd say it's a great truck, has great amount of power, brilliant performance, although on tarmac. Off-road, it is absolutely average and has very limited performance. Unfortunately, the Ram Rebel was the answer to Ford F-150's Raptor. According to me, you can't compare the two because they come from completely different leagues. But if price were to be a comparison aspect, the Ram Rebel is way more affordable because it's so much cheaper than the F-150 Raptor. So if you were to look at price as a comparison aspect, you can definitely look beyond the Ram Rebel shortcomings. Cheers!